Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to the workshop where we're making the flying banjo. Uh, as you already know, if you've watched the previous videos, uh, the banjo is taken from a free plan out of the RC m &E magazine a couple of months ago. Uh, since the last video, I've been quite busy in the workshop uh, by fitting the supports that go round the servos at the tail end of the fuzz. Uh, as you can see, it's made out of one eighth plywood um, and it's it's just laminated the sides there to give extra strength around this sort of thin area. Uh, it also gives the screws something to bear down onto uh, screwing into the plywood which is a good thing. Um, I've also started planking the front uh, part of the fuselage as you can see there well, it still requires a little work on this radius edge round the outside perimeter there uh, it's only roughed out at the moment but uh, it's only a few whips away with the with the sandpaper to finish that off if you turn the model over you can see i've already started the underside at the front again it's only roughed out the rads uh, the center section here with, with this gap is going to be where your battery hatches and i've just attached this uh, bit of planking here just to give the body a bit more support so it's uh, not so squashy when you pick it up um, etc so it just gives the fuzz a bit more strength for when we attach that round 26 inch diameter wing to this top edge um, I've also cut off these pieces that were on on here uh, the reason being I actually snapped the other side off when I was working on the fuzz so I thought hey ho this side's got to come off as well but looking at it now I think I would have done that at an earlier stage because I kept catching the bloody things and uh, they're only very very thin section as you can see and um, hey ho I snapped one off so when the wing's in position I'll just drop those I'll just drop those back on glue it back on and then I'll extend the planking from the bottom, you know, right the way across and then uh, taper it into the top of the wing and make a nice job of that. It's only, uh, it's only for looks anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, originally, I said in the last video that we were going to attach the, the wing to the top of the fuselage. Uh, I've had second thoughts with that and I've actually moved on to the vertical stabiliser. And as you can see, I've used my preferred method of uh, transferring the drawing to uh, to the wood by uh, photocopying the actual original drawing and then gluing the plan onto the wood that I'm using with my favourite 3M spray mount glue. It's really, really good stuff because you can glue your plan down, you can do all your cutting around the perimeter or whatever shape it might be and then the paper simply just uh, peels off. A slight uh, rub over with a, a rag with some methylated spirits on, takes the glue off and uh, away you go with the mixer. The only thing to uh, remember when you're doing the vertical um, stabiliser is to remember which way the grain is running um, as you can see it doesn't run from left to right as as you would normally do uh, it actually runs parallel to the leading edge of, of the of the tail there if you look closely if I can zoom into my my wood you can see the the direction of the grain is going the correct way then to make a stiffener at the back end where the rudder is attached uh, there's a separate piece of wood uh, going vertically and that's glued along this line here uh, to do that I've used my preferred method which I went through uh, when we made the wing uh, by putting sellotape on the back and creating a hinge if you like so I can just open that joint up put some aliphatic glue down down the groove between the two parts and then simply slap it down on the table this gives a really nice tight fit along here and holds the wood in place while while you do it when that's dried all i've simply got to do is bandsaw this edge out here that's where the rudder fits and also bandsaw along this profiled edge and around the tabs that fit into the the top of the wing the slots in the top of the wing 
so i've got to be a bit careful when i bounce all that out because obviously it is a slight radius edge and i want that to uh to fit the wing profile itself so uh, there's no gaps uh, i think that's about it for this uh this video so that that's what we're going to be doing now um hope you've enjoyed part nine if you have please feel free to subscribe and like the video and i hope you come back to watch uh, further updates to see how the model's coming along